hey what's up again fresh video here and welcome back and in today's tutorial i am going to show you how you can easily and properly import your texture inside after effect inside element 3d so basically i just read a read a article i can say article or just message on or just message i read some message on, on every and i also posted a tutorial that's called glossy text tutorial and there are a lot of people facing the problem when they importing texture on element 3d text so this tutorial will be definitely help you show i wish you will see this whole till the end so let's get started so first make a new composition and just made a scene so basically i made this scene so this is a plain plain i mean the basic plain of element ready and this is the motion design to screen model so first you will you have to import your texture so this is a flat design texture i just got online So if I will show you, where is it? So yeah, this is the texture. Designcontest.com. So you can go there and check it. I just see online, right? So let's move on. So just import your texture. Good. Select the element 3D layer and go to the custom layer and make sure you will go to the custom texture map and select the flat design. And just now let's go inside the scene setup. And now you have to think and choose what where you want to project or where you want to see the texture. So in this scene, basically, this is the uh, model screen model so in this one I want to see on the screen so this is the screen white material right so select the material and go to the texture and here is a diffuse option so just double click or just a single click here and just go load texture I mean just press here and just load your texture and you can see it's uh, properly imported and make sure you are using 2.2.2 because in a previous version of element 3d i also face the problem when i import my text and, and here we will not see anything right so the thing is here and you can see all right so good and one more thing you can do go to the illumination option and just choose use diffuse color and you can just increase the intensity to a little bit bright of your texture and one more thing you can do just just click on the texture and here are few options you can see contrast and brightness so you can also play with this if you want right and you can also decrease the saturation or just increase the saturation whatever you want in this case let's go something around it and uh, everything is good and you can also invert it if you want and just let's play and let's have some fun but right, let's put okay, it right so hit okay and one more thing you can do i just did it in my work so i'm going to tell you so go to the reflection option and just increase the reflection a little bit so now you can see your scene is a little bit reflecting right you can see and hit ok so now you can see it's properly imported right and i hope you understand it how i did it right so here is one more example and i just do some basic simple uh, render settings so i just expose that and play with gamma and just rotate the environment also so make sure when you made any work actually environment matter a lot so in this one i just 
choose a uh, i think uh, the environment black backlight environment and the environment is let me show you this is the environment uh, you can see so let's hit okay and the scene is looking perfect and one more example and i also choose the ambient occlusion and this is not a red dressed right and here is a good thing about the you can also change the color if you want the shadow color and the ambient occlusion color i mean and the, here is a preset some ultra slower and high medium fast so basically by default it is this select and i just choose the medium anyway so let's move on on the next step so this is the uh, same thing and same thing but i just what i did i just added a pro shader material on the back wall and the floor also and just make the floor reflective and this looks perfect i think this looks perfect now the my next and last uh, example is the text here all right so let me show you how you, you can import a video texture on the text right so the process is the uh, same so just this is the my energy texture i just made few months ago and you can watch online and this is called this is called energy experiment right after effect energy experiment so you can search online and you will see how I made it after effect 100%. So enough advertisement. Let's move on. So let's drag this uh, video in a new comp. If you, you can just drag it here also. But um, when you make a new comp and just put your texture there, so you can play with that anytime. And now the energy three here. So just to the text and energy 3 is here so just drag it here and just start off all right and go to the element 3d custom texture map and uh, layer number two is the energy 3 and just down it to the preview mode so we can a little bit go faster right go inside the scene setup and now you have to make a separate material right so you have to create a separate bevel so here is a three bevel this is the front and this is a bottom one and this is the middle one right so in here so just select the material and go to the diffuse and you can also make on the illumination section also so you can also make here but you have to go illumination and just increase the intensity but i want to make it diffuse because i can do a lot better here right so let's take the texture here right and you can just increase the diffuse amount so this will be a little bit bright right and you can also go the illumination section and here is the option use diffuse color so basically this will take information from the diffuse layer and this will be bright this will this will work as a illumination texture right so if you put your texture in a diffuse you can just take a more advantage right so something around here something around here and the reflection we don't want but you can do if you want all right and here is a one more option go if you go inside the advanced tab here and here is a blend mode normal add screen so if i press screen this will be just like a glass right there is a texture on glass and you 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 also do a uh, drop back faces so it will create also back faces if you want transparent all right but i'm not to want to do that so i'm going with this and i'm happy with this one so hit okay and the result is here right 
So what more you can do you can just go inside a game and just bright up a little bit more right you can just bright up a little bit more and go illumination also and bright up a little bit more or you can directly do here so anytime i just work on any glow type effect or illumination type effect so what i did basically on my every work so just duplicate the element ready layer right go to the output and here is the option composites to change it the illumination so basically this will be extract the illumination data from the original work and now you have an exact glowing part of your work and now you can just do a lot on the illumination section right so maybe it makes sense because i cannot tell you because my english is not as good as my work maybe all right so let's get to the next step so just add a glow oh i think i made a mistake so just type correctly glow and but first let's sort up let's add a course effect and why i imported a uh, made a course effect because i want to extract the bright part so make it seem little bit dark like this like this now i import the glow and just increase it decrease the intensity and increase the radius and just duplicate Duplicate it one more time. Duplicate it one more time. And enough duplicate, right? But you can import exposure and let's put before the glow. Something coming good, right? And now let's go to the blend mode and just change to the additive. And now you can see before and after. And exposure, if you think exposure is you don't need, you can just hide it. You can hide it also, but looks good, right? So this is the idea. And one more most important thing is there if you add a texture right this will be a picture or a video so when you made in a separated comp you can see this is only 10 seconds right and if i go to the text and this is almost one minute and 45 seconds so the thing is if you are making a video and you import your I mean you just animate your camera angles and do a lot of stuff and your actual animation duration is a lot more of this a lot more than this one so this will be high and this will not see because your texture is only 10 seconds and the video is one minute 45 seconds so where the texts are in this will be not seen so so basically for fixing it you have to just increase the duration of the your texture come also right so go here and i hope you learn something from this and this will this tutorial also helped you so thanks for watching my video and make sure you subscribe my channel you can do or you can learn a lot from the channel my channel i mean my channel so you can see there are a bunch of tutorials tips tips tricks experiment also break down some good project file also you can download it free so make sure you subscribe my channel and make sure you just press the bell icon so when i 
upload any video any tutorial any work so you can get get a notification and you just come on youtube and you will see it and you can follow me on instagram also so that's it for now and i am ps3 and thanks for supporting me thanks for loving me and i am ps3 and we will see you next time with a great tutorial so that's it for now and we will see you next time